This is the first in a series of screencasts about incorporating various modules from the Mendix App Store into your app. When adding these modules, we're going to see the same issues coming up time and again. First, we're going to have to understand the dependencies, the things that need to be in place before we set up the module. This might include installing other modules. We'll see some one-time setup that not e needs to be done either in the development in the model and sometimes certain pages that need to be added to the app and then an admin needs to go in and run them because some of these modules are not only set up in terms of pages and microflows, but there's data that needs to be set up such as settings and that kind of thing. We're going to look at a number of modules the Community Commons Library is sort of a toolbox full of additional things you can do, especially in microflows. The encryption module is used by uh, several other modules and allows you to store things like passwords in an encrypted way so they're secure. There's a reflection module, which is a little hard to explain, but it basically comes into place with anything where you need to present the user with choices based on your data model. So if you want to show a list of your tables or something, you need reflection. And then we'll look at a couple of modules that make use of some of this. One is a module that lets you import data from an Excel spreadsheet, and the other is a module that will let you actually send email notifications. In preparing to do all this, there are a couple of preliminary things we'll cover in this screencast. First, if you haven't already, take a look at the screencast on settings. Uh, the main thing to look for there is instructions on adding an administrative role for the My First module and also adding an administrative menu to the navigation. Those aren't 100% essential, but I'll assume you've already uh, done those as we move forward. The other thing we want to do is add an entity that we can use just for showing some of the features of our new modules that might not show up in a natural way. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now. I'm going to call it module demo. So I'll drag in an entity. I'm going to uh, name it module demo. And right now we're not going to, well, we'll go ahead and we'll add one thing that we will need later just so we will have an attribute here to look at. And that attribute is random password. We're going to demonstrate a feature in one of the modules that lets you generate a random password for the user. So that's a string. And we've added that. So now that we've set up the module demo entity, we need to create a page for displaying it. We only need one of these. So if you've seen the settings, screencasts, you'll realize this is going to be pretty similar. And, and in fact, we probably don't even need to uh, store the module demo, but I'm going to leave this as is, unlike um, uh, the dashboard. So what I need to do is create a page. So I will do that. The page is just going to show a single module demo. We will call this module demo. It's a regular page. It will be a form, vertical form. The thing we're going to show on there is going to be module demo. You can go ahead and fill the contents. To then open that page, we're going to need a microflow. So we're going to add a microflow. This microflow we're going to call open module demo. The microflow needs to first, okay, we'll, we'll get to our toolbox here. The first thing we need to do is create a module demo object. And then the next thing we need to do is we need to show the module demo page. We're going to pass in our new object, we're going to show the module demo page. And now that we have that set up, we can go up to navigation 
and we will add right under home new item we'll call it so this is not something you would include in a regular app it is just here for us to play around with a few features um, I'll go ahead and, and put a, a star there why not and what this is going to do is call our open module demo microflow and you'll see the error change to one because we now need to go to security here in my first module we need to go to microflow access and open module demo should be available to everyone except for an, a user who isn't logged in so click OK and at this point we can uh, we could run this and you would see that page open for right now though this is all of the setup we needed to get ready to start adding and exploring modules so we'll pick that up in the next screencast with the um, the Mendix uh, common library.